Hello, I'm David Voorhees from MasterCard, and I'm going to give a brief webinar on the MasterPass product and the SDKs and sample apps that are available for you should you choose to implement this in your hackathon solution. MasterPass is a network of digital wallets that at its core is designed to expedite the checkout experience uh, in, in whatever digital checkout a merchant has implemented, whether it be through a standard web browser uh, e-commerce interface or um, a mobile app. There are a, a few different types of MasterPass checkout. There are the standard checkout, a connect checkout, and an express checkout. Standard checkout requires no, no prior authorization from the user and essentially by hosting a buy with MasterPass button on the merchant's checkout page they can, in, they can invoke the MasterPass user interface and a user can log into their wallet where they may make card and shipping selections and then that data is returned securely to the merchant so that the merchant can process the transaction and complete the checkout. This provides the merchant a, a faster uh, checkout experience because the user does not have to manually enter data that they've already entered online. It gives the user the benefit because if several of the merchants that they're using um, support the MasterPass button, they can update a card expiration number in one spot and it will, it will uh, permeate to, to any of the sites that they check out at. Even though the standard checkout is, is faster than, than regular data entry, there are even quicker options than that, um, which is the case of a return checkout. A merchant can request a user to pair their wallet with the merchant which will allow the merchant to grab some, some partial aliased data from the user ahead of time on a checkout. This flow looks, uh, looks as shown on the screen. On the uh, account management page for the merchant, we could have a button um, labeled connect with MasterPass, in which case this will pop up the MasterPass user interface. The user would log into their wallet and then they can authorize their wallet to pair with the particular merchant. In this case, you can see that the merchant's name is Gadget Shop, and the data that they're looking to pair is profile information, which um, in general is uh, the user's name um, and email address, country of origin, uh, things of that nature. Uh, payment method, which would be all of the credit card information that is loaded inside of the MasterPass wallet, and addresses any any shipping address that the uh, user has has uploaded. So once once this is done, it enables the merchant to offer what is called a return checkout or a connect checkout. Essentially, uh, when the user clicks checkout, they can be taken to a select payment screen and the merchant will make a call into MasterPass called pre-checkout. This this call returns um, all of the data that was agreed to be paired with the merchant. So through this manner they can they can offer up um, several credit card options or shipping address options to the user on their own merchant page. In this case um, there were three, three, uh, three credit card options for the user to pick from and then once they've picked that they click buy with MasterPass and only have to enter their password and then their order is confirmed and the data, the full card data is, is finally returned to the merchant and they can process the payment and checkout will be complete. This is an enhancement in that the only MasterPass UI interaction that's required during this checkout flow is to briefly enter your password so that MasterPass can verify that the user is present and authorizing their card detail, their full card detail to be shared with the merchant. The next step beyond this is called Express Checkout, which can be done without any uh, user interface with MasterPass at all, thus allowing a very streamlined and quick checkout from the merchants and the merchants and the user's perspective. A return checkout with Express Checkout begins the exact same way the user makes their checkout, their their purchase selections. In this case, it's a Lenovo IdeaPad Flex and a Kindle Fire. 
And then on the payment screen, um, because the merchant has already called pre-checkout, they're able to display the user's card options that are stored inside of the MasterPass wallet. Once the user makes their card and shipping selections here, the merchant calls Express Checkout, which will return the full card details and the full shipping address information that the merchant will need to process the payment and um, either send goods if if they're delivering something um, or you know just bill if it's digital goods. This has this is very streamlined. Um, as you stay in the merchant's user experience the entire time and it's it's very quick from both the merchant and the consumer's perspective. The integration of Connect versus Express Checkout um, reflects how quick this is uh, from the merchant's perspective to integrate. The Connect Checkout requires the merchant to call the pre-checkout request token shopping cart access token, checkout, and postback APIs, as well as invoking the MasterPass UI to obtain user authentication. Express Checkout simply requires the merchant to call pre-checkout to load the card alias and shipping addresses onto their page so the user may make a selection. And then once the user's made their selection, the merchant calls Express Checkout to retrieve the full pan Card, card number, and uh, once that's done, they can process the payment and then post the results back to MasterPass. Um, it, is, it is much much more lightweight um, and enables um, more seamless integration into a mobile experience as well as a, a faster checkout experience whether you're on the web or, or not. Um, so, now I'll get into uh, the SDKs that we can offer to kind of help you with these efforts. Um, for a website or web application, um, we offer a full sample app and uh, SDK in four languages, Java, C Sharp, PHP, and Ruby. Uh, if you choose to do a mobile app solution, uh, we have Android native code and iOS native code uh, both apps are designed to talk to a Ruby on Rails server that, that make the API calls on behalf of the mobile app. <coughs> Sample apps and SDKs can be found on Developer Zone under the Merchant Checkout Pages uh, Hackathon tab. You will see um, Express Enabled SDKs for the four languages I mentioned as well as uh, Express enabled mobile SDK downloads at the bottom of the page. <clears throat> For the web apps, all of the samples come prepackaged with open API credentials and merchant branding that have been enabled for Express Checkout. This will aid in the development of your hackathon app because you will not get bogged down in any of the registration with MasterPass as a merchant or any of the um, open API um, OAuth work. Um, all of that code is written for you and you can just pull this into um, your app or your solution or your new idea, whatever, whatever it may be. The sample app provides multiple flows, one of which shows the request and response of each open API call required for MasterPass. Um, and then another just shows a very simple standard checkout page, um, essentially kind of mimicking a little bit what, what a merchant's online page might be, albeit with a um, fairly rudimentary uh, user experience. The, um, each of the sample applications, whether they be Java, Ruby, C Sharp, or PHP, is a sample application built on top of a common a common code base or um, SDK. The, the SDK is not compiled into a library. It will require uh, importing the source code into your project um, to run it. Um, so when, when you download these sample apps and run them, um, an important caveat is that the web apps do not currently store um, any long access token which is required for pre-checkout and express checkout 
They, uh, they aren't designed to store any data, actually. So pairing is required each time you go through the flow. And uh, I'll show you that right now. This is an example of the Java sample app. Um, so for a return checkout, the first thing that always has to happen is that the user has to agree to pair their wallet with MasterPass. So this will take you through the flow, the, the request and response calls that are, that are required for each. Um, MasterPass utilizes OAuth 1.0a and 3-legged OAuth to deliver user data on behalf of, of the user. So the user will authenticate to MasterPass before we will return any data back to the merchant. In this case, for pairing, the sample app is simulating a merchant requesting access to the user's credit card data, their profile, and their address. Furthermore, the merchant is requesting that this be an express pairing to turn on the second level of Master Paris return checkout, express checkout, which, uh, as I showed previously, is, is the simple um, API call with, with no MasterPass user interface um, involved. So when I clicked connect, this will launch the MasterPass UI and allow me to log in and authenticate to my wallet. Once I'm logged in, it will prompt me to see, um, do I want to pair my wallet <coughs> with, in this case, the name of the merchant is any merchant. Um, and it's informing the user that I requested profile information, addresses, and payment method. The user can then allow that. And then the second level question asks if I would like to enable express checkout uh, and explains to the user uh, that, it, you know, that it will speed up their checkouts and clicking buy with MasterPass will complete their purchase instantly instead of having to log in and, and reauthorize every time. So when I click allow, this finalizes the pairing between my wallet and the merchant site. This pairing is maintained through a long access token, which is retrieved uh, with an access token call after the pairing. Um, the sample app through this flow uh, displays the long access token to to you for your for your own edification. We're now ready because we have this access token to retrieve pre checkout data. Typically, a user will will only pair one time, and the merchant will maintain that long access token so that they can just continually call pre checkout followed by express checkout over and over without having to involve any MasterPass user interface. As you can see with the case with all three-legged OAuth, that, that long access token is passed back when we retrieve the pre-checkout data. Here I'm telling MasterPass that I want card profile and address info. And you can see in this case it's returning um, card information, pre-checkout card information. Um, what makes it significant as pre-checkout card information is that you only get the last four digits of the card number at this point. Uh, it's essentially just enough to, to give the user the ability to make the choice of what card they want to use without the merchant necessarily getting the full data yet. And then this, this account has a lot of card details in it, so let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, you also get returned all of the... Uh, shipping addresses for for my account. So the merchant is then able to display all of the preferred shipping options to the user and in fact will also let you know which one is set to default. So the, the user can specify which one that they prefer and that that will aid in your user experience. It will allow you to to possibly just display the preferred card and shipping with the option to choose others if that's not what they want for this particular transaction. As you can see, this account also has a lot of shipping addresses in it.
So when, once the user makes their choices, in this case, I can pick on the sample app through this dropdown. It let me know it. This is very rudimentary UI, but it, it lets me know what the card type is and the last four digits. So in this case, I want to check out with my MasterCard ending with 0121. And it also lets me pick from any number of addresses. Um, I will uh, have it delivered to a 123 Maple Drive in California. At this point, the merchant is going to make an express checkout call using the new long access token that they got returned from the pre-checkout call and it will allow them to get the full card details for for this checkout so here you can see once again because this is another three-legged OAuth call that uh, the, OAuth the long access token that we just re received is uh, then passed back to retrieve express checkout data the express checkout data is only going to contain oh I'm sorry I missed one thing this is the card ID that was selected by the user and this is the shipping address ID that was selected by the user these two identifiers let MasterPass know which details the user wants to use for this particular checkout and as you can see the data this time only only contains the single card that I picked with the full card number and and the billing address that's needed to charge that card as well it gives me the address 123 Maple Drive oh I'm sorry um, it wasn't California the country was CA um, and and the data needed for that the important thing here is that with Express Checkout well the important thing is that you now have the details to complete your transaction uh, an item to note is that you also get returned another long access token. You can immediately use this long access token to call pre-checkout again and run this flow over and over and over again. So if the merchant has a user checking out every day, they can run through this express checkout with just the single click to buy with MasterPass to confirm their order. And without, without ever leaving the merchant's user experience, they're immediately ready to process that transaction and it future protects the merchant because even if the user had changed their uh, card number or their their billing address um, that data will just get returned um, as updated in the wallet to the merchant so then uh, now that the merchant has processed the payment they'll post the transaction back to uh, MasterPass uh, essentially just just saying the amount and the purchase date um, and then the transaction ID that was used for this particular transaction. So um, that, in a nutshell, is the full Express Checkout flow. Um, again, the, the sample app has a little bit of a short falling in that it makes you pair every time that you go through. An optimal user experience would allow me to immediately do another pre-checkout and Express Checkout again without having to go through a pairing. That, that enables extremely fast checkouts uh, for both the, the uh, consumer and for the merchant. <clears throat> so make a note here, if you're, doing, if you're doing Express or Connect checkout, your app should store the user's long access token. This will enable you to immediately use that the next time that the user comes back to your app without having to ask for a pairing again and being able to take full advantage of the minimalized checkout flows. So That was the web apps. Um, the mobile apps function in a very similar way except that for security reasons and um, to ease processing load all of the API calls are made uh, by a Ruby server. Um, for both mobile app SDKs, they are pre-configured to point to uh, an instance of this Ruby server being hosted uh, by Heroku. Um, this server is available to use for any of your uh, hackathon solutions uh, in any way you want. Um, if you so wish, the um, server code for the, for the mobile apps is also available on the App Launchpad page. 
So you're, you're more than welcome to download the Ruby server code and run your own instance if you don't want to use the Heroku one or if you want to just focus on the mobile app experience or how MasterPass ties into your mobile app, you can um, simply take the sample apps that are also available for Express and um, integrate them into your own mobile solution. I'm not going to get into too much details of the mobile code here um, because that's a very difficult subject to portray in a uh, web video, um, but just as a, to kind of a head start, um, the MP Manager class in either uh, Android or iOS is a good place to start because um, that manages most of the connections to the server. Uh, so very quickly, if you want to see, I will go to um, developer.mastercard.com is, is where uh, most of the documentation for MasterPass is hosted um, and any of the other actual APIs that MasterCard offers um, that you might be integrating with your solution. You can also find details of it there. Um, and I will show you where these uh, sample apps and SDKs are on those pages. Um, I kind of mentioned it earlier on in the uh, presentation, but um, let's see if I can get the page to come up. So again, it's, it's this URL. Um, or you can get to there by going to developer.mastercard.com um, if, if the, uh, if the Wi-Fi that I'm on allows this to load and then simply click APIs, um, Merchant Checkout, and then the Hackathon tab will take you to it. So since my, uh, my internet connectivity isn't uh, cooperating at the moment, uh, I will just wrap this up and um, oh, here we go. Any of the uh, any of the Mastercard employees that are here to support the hackathon will know how to get to these pages and to um, help you download any sample app or SDK that you want to use for your app. Um, I guess the uh, the main takeaway uh, that I would have for you is. Um, Express Checkout is uh, far and away the, the coolest and the fastest um, integration as far as uh, user experience goes. Um, but to fully take advantage of it, um, please make sure that you store the long access token that you get back from each call so that you can reuse it on the next call. Um, that being said, uh, I hope that you found this informative and um, uh, please uh, Find someone in a MasterCard t-shirt for uh, any questions.